Welcome to the video on how to simulate multiple UVs with Simulink. UV systems are used in a variety of applications including surveillance, search and rescue, military, entertainment and more. In this video, we will learn how to simulate multiple UVs in a waypoint following mission in Simulink by using system objects. We will start our video with a discussion on simulating a single UAV for a waypoint follower mission. Moving forward, we will discuss how can we extend it for multiple UAVs using system objects, where we are going to implement multiple instances of UAVs and follow their assigned waypoints. Finally, we will conclude this video with key takeaways. For this video, we are going to use examples from the MATLAB documentation. You can find the link to these examples in the video description. Let's start our video by understanding what we need to implement a waypoint follower mission with Simulink. First, we need the UAV kinematic model. You can use the UAV guidance model block to implement it. It uses a reduced order model for a closed loop system including UAV dynamics and autopilot. You can model both the fixed wing and multi-rotor guidance model. We also need to provide the information about vehicle's initial states and autopilot configuration including various control gains. This UAV guidance model is supplemented by an environmental model to take care of environmental parameters. States generated by the UV kinematic model are fed to the UV animation block for visualization and waypoint following controller for control implementation. With the UV animation block, you can configure UV type, size, color and inertial frame. The next subsystem we need is the waypoint following controller. It includes a UV waypoint follower block and a custom function heading control. UV waypoint follower block calculates the look ahead point, desired course and desired yo using the current UV position, the set of waypoints and the look ahead distance. The heading control custom function calculates the target role based on the current states, target heading and environmental parameters to account for winds. Let's run this simulation and visualize the results. As we have learned how to simulate a waypoint follower mission, let's move forward and customize it for multiple instances of UAVs. We need to customize the UAV waypoint follower block, UAV guidance model block and edit the custom function heading control. For this purpose, we will use MATLAB system objects. If you are new to MATLAB system objects, kindly go through this video. Let's start with defining a new system object for multi-instance waypoint follower. You can prepare the system objects in MATLAB and import here. We have prepared the MATLAB code similar to the waypoint follower block. Let's test this system object first in MATLAB before we implement in Simulink. First, we need to call the system object and assign various properties including number of UVs, their types, transition radius, minimum look ahead distance, etc. Next, we need to define the current position of UVs and their look ahead distance. Let's move forward and test our system object. It provides us all the required parameters for heading control similar to a single waypoint follower. As this system object is working fine, let us import it to Simulink. Similarly, we can replace the UAV guidance model with a multi-instance UAV guidance system object. Finally, we need to customize the heading control function for multiple instances. Now that our simulation model is ready for multiple UAV instances, let us add waypoints to be followed to the multiple instance waypoint follower block. Let's run the simulation and visualize the results. Let's move to the key takeaways of this video. We learned how to use the UV guidance block to implement a low fidelity UV plant model. With the UV waypoint follower block, we can generate the desired control commands for a waypoint follower mission in Simulink. Using MATLAB system objects, we can design specific system capabilities and extend it for multiple UAVs for the SWARM mission. If you want to learn more about what all you can do with MATLAB and Simulink for UAV applications, check out the UAV Toolbox webpage. UAV Toolbox provides tools and reference applications for designing, simulating, testing and deploying drone, unmanned aerial vehicle and advanced air mobility applications. Thank you.